Hello, my dear learners. I welcome you all to Department of Physics, SGU Mahesh PU College, Belgavi. Uh, in this video, I will definitely try to demonstrate an experiment finding the resistivity of a given wire. And here is the given wire. Uh, we have to find out the resistivity of this given wire. I will definitely explain the uh, circuit diagram used for this experiment. So here is a meter bridge. Here is a meter bridge and this is the left gap I can say. It is a left gap and here you can clearly see the right gap. Right gap and this is the what? The wire between point A and point B which is usually of 100 centimeter. Its, it's length is around 100 centimeter here. Similarly, you can find the same in this meter bridge here. These two are the left gap and here you can find clearly find the right gap and this is terminal A and this is terminal B and this wire is of 100 centimeter length. Now we shall do the circuit setup and before that I will explain the apparatus used in this experiment. This is one, one way key and here we are using jockey and this is the given material uh, for which we need to find out the value for resistivity of the material and here we are using the resistance box. You have to uh, place this resistance box in the what? Right gap of the right gap of the meter bridge. Then this is the what battery eliminator. So this is are the these are all the apparatus we are going to use in this experiment. First, let's let's connect the setup now. First of all, so I will start from the left gap. In the left gap, you have to place the material, the given material, and in the right gap, you have to connect the known resistance. I will just connect the known resistance. This is the resistance box we are using. As you know that resistors have no polarity. That's the reason why you can use any one of this terminal. I am using these two here. Better. I will use this one just to connect to the right gap of the circuit. You need to connect like this and one more side should be one more terminal should be connected to another terminal of the right gap. Here I am connecting here. Yes. Now we have connected this resistance box in the right gap of a meter bridge. Now you can clearly see the circuit diagram here. From the midpoint you can clearly see this is the point B. From here we have to connect a galvanometer. Okay, so here is the point B I can take. Here I can take the point B here. So galvanometer is needed. And here you can clearly see the what? This is the point B I can take here through which I have to connect a galvanometer and one more end of this galvanometer. You can clearly have a look on this one. One more end of the galvanometer should be connected to jockey. Okay, so this is what the circuit setup here. Let me connect it so. So here is the galvanometer. I will just connect it. This should be connected to the what? The terminal B. Okay. Now another end or another terminal should be connected to jockey. Better let me use a little bit maximum length of the wire. This is the jockey used. Okay, and I am connecting it here. Okay, so now the final setup is required. 
this is the point A as I said, this is the point B as I said. Now we have to connect a power supply to it. I am using the battery eliminator here. As you know that the positive terminal of the battery eliminator is connected to point P or it's point A here we have taken. This is the point A just connect it here and one more end of this should be connected to key. I'll use this one now here and if I take the one more terminal this is the negative terminal I have to connect it to key okay now here is one way key and another end of the key should be connected to terminal B. Should be connected to terminal B of the meter bridge. Okay. Now this is the completion of the circuit setup. Now we are ready to take the readings the same if you look at a tabular column so if you look at a tabular column here you can clearly find out the resistance okay you, have, you usually take 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm here respective balancing length should be measured here and you have to make a note of the balancing length and further calculation will be shown later now i will show you how to take the readings let me switch on this. Now here the battery eliminator is set at 2 voltage here. Now I will insert the key. Now I will insert the key. Let us show whether it shows a deflection. You can clearly see the what? Deflection in the galvanometer. You can clearly have a look on this. And if I touch a opposite terminal you can clearly see the deflection in the opposite direction okay hope it's clear to everyone now you can clearly observe the deflection in the opposite direction just by touching it to the what opposite terminals now your connections are exactly correct now you can go ahead to take the readings first i will remove one ohm here so that this resistance box will act like a one ohm resistor now you can slide over this wire until the galvanometer shows zero deflection i am sliding over here like this and where it shows the zero deflection that's our balancing length okay i have to move like this now you can clearly see the needle is approaching zero you can clearly have a look on this one this is zero at this zero you need to you need to look at the scale you can clearly say that it is approximately at 69 centimeter. It is approximately at 69 centimeter. So you have to make a note of that 69 centimeter here. 69 centimeter. Okay. Like this. Later you have to open this 2 ohm resistor. Close this one so that this resistance box will act like a 2 ohm resistor. Then you open both so that it will act like 2 plus 1 ohm that is what 3 ohm resistor box and the respective readings of 2 ohm as well as 3 ohm resistance should be noted here as you know that you can clearly if it is 69 centimeter then you can in this column you can definitely take 100 minus 69 centimeter will give you 31 centimeter you have to write the value for 31 centimeter in this column as you know that resistance R is equal to S into L divided by 100 minus L. Substitute the values. S is 1 ohm. First experiment. L is balancing length is 69 centimeter. And 100 minus 16 is 31 centimeter. will give you some answer. So, we will definitely get R in terms of ohm. And R in terms of ohm. And R in terms of ohm for 3 readings. I have to take the mean of all the three readings just by taking R mean is equal to 
R1 plus R2 plus R3 divided by 3, you have to take the average of that, you have to write the average value here. Once you get the value for R in value, now you can go ahead to calculate the value for resistivity. As you have studied in current electricity, resistance of a material is equal to rho into L divided by A. This is the concept you have studied. So to get the value for resistivity, its value is R into A divided by L. Okay, we will definitely provide you the length of the wire given as well as the radius of the wire given. We will definitely give you the values for length of the wire and, and the radius of the given wire. So that for we can substitute the values rho is equal to r into instead of area we can write it as pi into r square divided by l. You have to substitute the value for l as given okay and r radius of the wire used here it will be given just substitute there pi value is 3.142 and r value r value is mean value that you have calculated by using the tabular column okay substitute and you definitely get the answer in terms of ohm meter okay this is the what finding the x finding the resistivity of the given wire this completes this experiment thank you